Hi everybody, this is Jessica the Book Rock Goddess and Jader Secret Lush. And forgive the lighting in here, guys. We're doing this on my camera. Okay. <laughs> We're doing this on my camera and the lighting is making us kind of look ghostly. Hopefully it won't be so bad when we upload. But this is our first or no, our second book haul for the month of January. And she's gonna go first. Alright. I have the barcode prophecy by Susan Wine. Um it came with tattoos, and I'm excited because they say, uh, resist, decode, and endure. They're pretty sweet. Pretty cool. And I do like Susan Wine, so I think she also wrote my, wrote my other books, but I can't, I don't want to say it. She it, wrote a lot of stuff, but, um, she does a lot of, sure. she does, I think she does a lot of middle grade. This isn't middle grade. I know that's not, but I think she does a but lot I of middle grade. But I thought she wrote my Seven Deadly Sins, but I could be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and she not was. Not sure. Okay. Well, okay. you can look it up later. <laughs> okay, got Zack and the Dream Stealers by Ross McKenzie. This is a middle grade novel. I can't wait to read this. It says, Welcome to His Nightmare. So, I'm excited. And this is, it's got trees on it. So I'm excited. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous cover. Um, I've got Juniper Berry, A Tale of Terror and Temptation by M.P. Kozalski. And I can't wait to read that. I think we've got a theme going here. She only got and that she, book because of trees. Because of tree. <laughs> the tree. It's also a juvenile book. Um, I got Graffiti Girl by Kelly Para. This is one of my MTV books. And I'm excited to actually sit down and start reading them. I did read one a while ago, and it was Oh My Goth, and it was Oh My Gosh, is what it was. So it was actually really good, and um, I'm not going to get into what it was about, but it was really good. So I can't wait to start reading more of these. I'm slowly collecting them. I've only got about like three or four more, I think. I don't good. Know. I, I got find. The Vincent Brothers by Abby Glines, Glins, Glines. Lines, I think, Lines. that's how he said. But I can't wait to read these. I've got um, the Vincent Boys. So, yeah. and a little eh, about the fact that it's from the boys' perspective. But I do like when they switch back and forth. And this one doesn't switch back and forth between the girl and the guy, I think. I, think. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm kind of like, after reading my... I think my... it's about... Whoa. I don't know, but after reading my 2012 yeah. books from um, my contemporary from 20, uh, 2012, I actually have been really liking contemporary, which is shocking for me, which, because I never was before that big of a contemporary person, but last year kind of changed my mind, so we'll see, because I'm really interested in reading those books now. This is my exciting books of, of today. I've got Charmed Thirds. By Megan McCafferty. I'm slowly trying to find these. They're so expensive. And I'm getting them in the used section. I'm like, used, they're $7. But they're like $14 a piece. Did you even read the first? Nope. <laughs> She's super excited to have the third. I am. I I am. I have the first and the second. And I have the, the third. And then I have... Forthcomings by Megan McCafferty. I heard these were fantastic. Um, I love contemporary. And I figured... Not gonna read them until I have all of them. I but I might start reading them now, cause all I'll need left is the fifth. And if I don't have it by the time I'm done reading the series, then I'll just buy it. I'll cave and buy it online for thirteen dollars. Whatever. But oh, this one isn't as thick as the other. Mm, right. Oh well. They might have. But I'm excited. One. They're really big. They're tall, really tall. Tall and wide. Okay. Is that it? That is. Oh, me. Okay, I got what she bought me, I think was one of my Christmas presents, and that is my favorite um, novel since I was a child, and that's The Secret Garden, and it's the beautiful Barnes and Nobles um, leather-bound edition, I believe, and I'm not taking it out of the plastic. <laughs> I don't want anybody's little grubby hands touching it. It's got a bookmark, and, and it's silver, silver. pages. 
I will not take it out of the plastic until I sit down and read it. And I don't know when that's going to be because I don't want grubby hands touching it. So, and Fire then... Book and she don't even take it out the wrapping. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I hate to do that. Okay, anyways. And then I'm going to read... Uh, oh, I mean, then I got Ashes of Twilight by Casey Taylor. And I've heard different stuff about this. I'm not really sure. I know it's dystopian. But other than that, um, I've heard, heard different things about it. I heard it's really good. Um, so we'll see. I'm. Some people said that they thought it was a, a Twilight ripoff. But I don't think so because um, I've heard other people's reviews and they said it was really, really good and it had nothing to do with that. So we'll see. I got to check into that one. Um, then I got... Sorry. What are you doing? I'm really white. I got Steel by uh, Carrie Vaughn, and this is supposed to be really good. It's a, supposed to be a really enjoyable um, uh, adventure novel, and I really, really love adventure stories. I love fantasy. I love all that type of stuff, so this should be decent. Um, I have been dying to read this book, and I'm kind of sad that I d found it in paperback and at hardcover. I should have waited for the hardcover, but I've been wanting to read it really bad. And that is Went, went With Hall. And I'm really into that Downtown Abbey. Downton Abbey. And, say I'm sorry. The PBS show. And then, so, PBS. this... It's on PBS. Is it? Down, Downton Abbey is on PBS. And I totally I love that show. America. No, it's PBS. It's like one of my favorite shows, but then again, Pride and Prejudice, all that stuff. is. I really love all that. So, I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, you should have heard her last night. We were watching Downton Abbey, and they go, yeah, our seven-week uh, season. And Mom goes, seven weeks? And she goes, well, I guess because it's a two-hour show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Mom. Yeah, I think every show's a two-hour show. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyways, then I've got Anastasia Forever by Joy P Premble. And I've Anastasia. got the... Anastasia. You're going to say it. Anastasia. Right. Anastasia. Anastasia. Whatever. <laughs> um, I've got the first two. This is the third in the series, and I'm excited to read it, and I just keep putting it off. Yeah, I bought her the first one. Yeah, so a long time ago. Um, and I wanted it, but she said she wanted it, so I bought it for her. Okay. Um, I got this copy of Pride and Prejudice, just a different version. I've got a bunch of them, and, you know, it's just a different version of Jane Austen. It. And I like the cover. So, I had this to have it. This is different, though, because it has, um, it's the Insight Edition. It has trivia, notes, inspiration, and and amplify this, and inspirational quotes and stuff like that from the book. And here, just in the back, so. Yeah, so I'll love that. I got a good eye. Yeah, she found that she for me, me for, at the library, um, brand new, brand new book on one of their, um, uh, cell racks. So, uh, I said, cool. This I got at Barnes & Noble's on, in the used section. And this is The Juliet Club by Suzanne Harper. And we have been, um, her and I both have been looking at this book and looking at this book and thinking about buying it. And I, got, I picked it up for four bucks and I said, what the heck, you know, um, for that. And it's in great condition. I mean, other than a little bit of wear on the edges, you know, from pushing it in and out the shelf. It's like perfect. So... I said, what the hey? I mean, four bucks, you can't beat it. So that's my haul, guys. That's her haul. And we hope you guys got some good books this week. We hope you guys ha um, are enjoying this crazy weather. And we hope that you guys are enjoying your reading. So, back it up. Oh. so we'll see you again. <laughs> Bye. Bye.